Let's talk about chest rig fitment. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and just wanted to make a shorter video here about chest rig fitment and straps. So I had a question recently about chest rig fitment and I thought it would be good to make a video. So this can apply to any chest rig. For this specific video, I'm using my chest rig, the Spectre, right? But in general, you can apply this to, you know, any chest rig that has an H harness or a similar setup. So there are just two things I wanted to note. The first one is placement of the chest rig. So it's called a chest rig, right? So a lot of guys will ride it higher up on their chest proper. I tend to ride mine a little bit low, right? Uh, and then some guys will run them even down lower. Now, people can get real pedantic about that and be like, it's a chest rig, it's not a belly rig. Like, you should ride it, you should ride it high. And that's fine if you wanna do that. Honestly, I've kinda of gotten to the point where I'm like, ride it where you want, wear it where you want. Uh, this is kind of where mine end up, because that just ends up what's being the most comfortable for me and allows me to, you know, get the mags out the easiest and, and do whatever it is that I need to do. So this is where I ride it. You might look at that and say, ah, that's technically a little bit low, and you'd, you'd be correct, technically. Uh, it is a little bit low. Technically, I should ride it just a little bit higher up here, but like I said, I, I like to go just a couple inches lower, because for me, that's what's comfortable, especially when I talk about getting my knife out and stuff. Uh, if, it's, if it's up higher, right, I don't want to slice my own juggler on the, way, on the way out with it. So that's why I ride mine here. But again, I'm very much, uh, you ride it where you want and where it's comfortable. Now, if someone doesn't know, right, and you're, you're picking up a chest rig for the first time or whatever, and you don't know where it goes, that's a different story. Like, hey, in general, try to ride it as high as is comfortable would be my rule. The second thing I would like to note is when it comes to the straps. So as you can see, my straps are policed up. Uh, I put them through elastic keepers and I have uh, you know, tidied them up. Sometimes people's straps will look like this. So sometimes the straps will be like this, right? They're all hanging loose and you got all this excess cordage or strap, you know, what do you, what do, you do with that? Well, those need to be policed up. First of all, because if it's hanging loose like that, you look like an amateur and I want you to look like a professional. And secondly, and more importantly, from like a tactical consideration, right? Those can get caught on things. If I'm going through a doorway or going through the jungle or whatever, and this gets caught on a branch or something, right? That, that can be a problem. So we want to police that up. The third reason is if you're talking about like a pack, right? And I'm taking my pack off and again, it's going to catch on one of those straps and it's going to pull me down when I'm dropping the rock or whatever, or the, the pack won't sit as comfortably. Um, again, if the these are tangling in and whatever. So we're gonna police those up. You got three options when it comes to policing those up. Now you got a couple different options when it comes to how to deal with that excess webbing, okay? The first one is you can cut it. I try to avoid that, honestly, as much as I can. I just, I don't like cutting my gear, but you can do it, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, size it to you, right, when you size it. Make sure to have your party shirt on, not, not this cool party shirt, but like whatever your field top or whatever shirt it is that you're gonna do the big party in. Um, have that on, have the chest rig loaded with what you typically carry, right? Cause that'll, that'll affect the ride height. So have it fully loaded, you know, water in the canteen, mags fully loaded, like have the, have the thing weighed down a bit size it to you, leave a little bit of excess, right? For, you know, if you get fat or you eat a big burrito or something, uh, and then you can trim it, right? Burn the end, and then you still have to, you'll still have a little bit of extra cordage to police up, but it'll be less. The other two options are non-permanent, and we'll show those on the tabletop right now. Now, the other two options are non-permanent, and again, are my preferred method. So the first one is you can just tape it. So if you see here on this, uh, waist strap. What I did is I taped one end, right? And then I'm only going to adjust from this end. What you could do is you could adjust this down to where, where it needs to be, right? You could take this, fold it up nicely so it's nice and flush and looks professional, right? And then I could run just a couple straps of uh, like electrical tape would work really well or gaffer tape or something like that. On this one, I happen to have some green duct tape. Uh, so that's what I use to, to police this end up, right? And that'll, that'll work fine. The other thing is my chest rig, I'm, lots of other ones out there come with these elastic keepers, right? They have these little one inch elastic keepers. So what I like to do here is I will slide that sucker all the way down. I will fold this up again so it's nice and as flat as I can make it. And then it takes a little bit of work, but you just work that elastic keeper over the webbing.
do a little bit of work here. I made a small video cut there because I got a phone call. So that was the only reason, but that's pretty simple, right? And then I can just do that again on both sides. So we'll try to show this one. Hopefully I won't get a phone call in the middle of this one, right? This one will do a little different. So that other one, I started with the keeper over it, right? And then I folded it up. This one, the keeper is not over it, right? So here I will just fold this one up. Again, you can do this any way you want, okay? Really, it just breaks down to what's easiest for you and how you want it to look. This, the point here is that the straps are kept out of your work area and that they don't tangle in anything, right? So there, that was real time. It didn't take too long, okay? And then your back strap will look like that, right? So I'll work in another shot of me wearing this when these are all taped up, right, or all corded up. Do this one on camera again here. I just like to use the keepers because then it's non-permanent, right? And if, I don't know, I get super fat or really jacked like Bane or something, I can always adjust it, right? The other option is, like I said, you could just tape it um, and run some couple runs of tape over it. That works too. I just tend to use the keepers because, well, I designed a chest rig with keepers, so it just seems to be like the uh, organic solution. Sorry, I try to keep that on camera, rather than uh, putting some tape on it. But if you wanted, right, especially on this upper H part, guys, um, you know, this doesn't adjust much, right? This waist strap, this will adjust a little bit. On my rig, I have a little bit of elastic in there to give you some flex, right? But point being up here, this really doesn't change much. So if you wanted to tape these up here, that would probably be a good idea um, because once you get them set for you and your size, likely that's not gonna change. Like I said, maybe if you get really into like overhead press or something and get some big shoulders or something, but by and large, that's kind of your, uh, your chest size and that's kind of is what it is. Might change a little bit, but highly, highly doubtful. So you could tape these ones. If there was only one you were gonna tape, I would tell you to tape these, but again, if your chest rig comes with keepers like mine does, then this is probably the best solution. And long term, you know, it is elastic, right? So if it wears out to a point that you're not happy with it anymore and it's not retaining it, well then, hey, get the tape out. Let's see if I can do this one on camera. These are tight as you want them to be. So again, that they actually retain the webbing. You don't want them to be loose or easy to get on because if they were, well, then they'd come off easily too, right? So there you go. There. So now all of my webbing is policed up, right? It's going to lay easier in a pack and it's not going to get caught in anything. So that's basic, you know, chest rig fitment uh, 101. Hope that's helpful. Hope that gives you something to work with. Do brave deeds and endure.